Welcome guys to this coding uh, section of DPV 6.2 and in this we will show you how the uh, description of the solution that we did in the earlier section continues on to the programming. So in this case we have our row set up as I and the column set up as J. The Any of these uh, com computations is basically going from I to J. You're starting at I and going towards J and the cost at J is being computed and you compute this column followed by this column followed by this. So with that let's um, let's look at first of all let's remember this equation uh, the CJ which is this is first computed over all these and the minimum is written here and then we move on and so on and obviously the cost is optimal when the distance between the two sit two hotels is exactly 200 otherwise it's more um, always. Um, so with that in mind, let's look at uh, the um, uh, Iron Python uh, notebook or Jupyter notebook here. And in this, we set up first of all. We have in this uh, example, we have um, five hotels, and the origin is set as zero. And so uh, we have this location vector that shows you the cost or the the distance from origin. And so location one is at 100 miles. Location two, 250. 3 is 600, 4 is 700, 5 is at 900. And then we set up our min cost vector, which is our matrix. And this matrix has uh, six elements on the row and six elements on the column. Um, and then we initialize all of them in the beginning as zero. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but we initialize them to some value. Now, remember the actual initialization of the dynamic programming is such that the cost of origin is always zero, which means that the very first column um, of that matrix is always zero no matter and in this case min cost is set up as you're going from i to zero remember that if you are ending up at zero there is nothing before zero so the cost of that is always zero the cost of stopping at the origin is always zero no matter where you came from because you cannot come from anywhere so this is set up as um, zero this is a trivial um, part of the solution and then we fill up this matrix traveling from i to j so first you set up the column uh, which goes from 1 to 6 and then you, inside that you loop for i which is you know the rows which go from 0 to 6. Now remember the, the this only goes from 1 to 6 because the only realistic first stop is 1 and and this is not really 6 in python this means that it's really going from 1 to 5. 6 is not included in this for loop. So um, with that the, the other thing is that remember in our um, uh, example here the the lower half is not meaningful because you cannot arrive at j from i equals 2 it's not possible because you cannot arrive at hotel um, 1 from hotel 2 they're all in a linear on, on a linear road so it's not possible so those are na so now with that if you look at this if j is greater than i is the only possibility because we are going from i to j i has to be smaller than j and therefore, in this case, the min cost as per our setup is basically min cost of coming from i uh, plus this computation of location j minus location i and subtract from 200 whole squared. That cost is exactly as we had set up in the equation. But keep in mind that uh, we are using this zeroth row to store the lowest cost. Remember that when we compute the minimum, we can store it anywhere. We can store it in a separate variable or separate array, but what I'm doing as a convention is that I'm storing it in the zeroth row for that hotel. For the ith hotel, I stored it in the row zero, right? So you compute over all the elements and then you store it there. So first I compute over all ij's for, let's say, i equals one, and then uh, obviously temp variable is used as a, as a temporary collector to compute the minimum, and I initialize that with one uh, billion as an infinity. And so when you compute this and you compute the minimum cost, the minimum cost for that hotel, let's say one, is stored back at the zeroth row, right? So keep that in mind, I always store that at the zeroth location after the, after the computation is done. And when I use it next, let's say at two, you see how I'm using it? Because I always use zero comma i, which means that I, I use this minimum. If I'm coming from i, I need to know the minimum cost of i. What I do is that I use the zero comma i, and that is that is critical because once I have computed the minimum for that column, 
I store it in the zero, zeroth row. So keep that in mind. That's that's very important. Now, once you iterate through all this, the minimum cost is printed, and that is the answer. So now uh, let's just execute through this. So I'm going to hit Shift Enter in uh, in this and uh, passing through that. And uh, once you do that, you can see the minimum cost is thirty-five thousand, and that is the cost printed at the last node and zeroth, which should be the answer. So that's it, guys. And that this is the um, this is the uh, program part of it. And this code would be available in the GitHub repository um, under the Learn DP um, folder. And so you can um, feel free to download it and try it out. And um, if you have any questions, leave me comments. Uh, if you like this uh, presentation and the solution, which happened in the two parts, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have not seen my previous episode that shows you how uh, the matrix is computed, go back and look at DPV 6.2, um, which is the Excel, which is sorry, which is the um, PowerPoint presentation that shows you how the solution actually works. And then you can come back here and look at this and probably uh, it'll make more sense. So thanks a lot for watching uh, this episode, guys. And until next time, take care and bye-bye.